Utah District 12, listen up right here. There's a new name on the ballot for the Senate this year. My name is Linda Paulson, Republican and awesome. Love God and family and the Constitution. I tried to get another conservative to run. Nobody could do it, so I'm getting it done. I'm pro-religious freedom, pro-life, pro-police. The right to bear arms and the right to free speech. I want less government. Control and regulation want to stop and expose all political corruption where is integrity, morality, accountability. Government programs should lead to self-sufficiency and support traditional family as the fundamental unit of society. But in schools, they are pushing for new beliefs. And just to clarify, as a female adult, I know what a woman is. Number one, uh, I love the rap, okay? Oh, chink. Of course hold on, hold on. I I'm in favor of anything corny like that. You make you trying to make politics more fun. Uh, you're trying to relate to folks. It's super awkward. I love it. I love it. I can't get enough of it. Okay. Now, when you get to the content of the rap, well, then the big issues begin. First of all, not a great political strategy to say I try to get somebody else to run, but no one wanted to, so I guess you're stuck with me. Whether it's in a rap or not, it's probably not the best messaging. Gas prices are way too high. Putin, it's got to die. Put a bullet in Putin's head. Yeah, that's what I said. Zelensky is a VIP. Ukraine, and I go insane. Put a bullet in Putin's brain. You know that is the plan. I'm a Zelensky stand. I love you, Vladimir Zelensky. You are so smart. What's the smell? Did somebody fart? No way. What can you say? Fascinate me straight or gay. I love you and I love to run and grind all the time. And you got that sanitizer. And you know I got that Pfizer. You know I stick it in my vein. Put a bullet in Putin's brain. Do it for the Ukraine before I go insane. Price is way too high. For dinner. Okay. What I love about this, my favorite thing about all of it, awesome, is that they didn't stop it because it's literally the most exciting thing that's ever happened at a city council <laughs> meeting in Plano, Texas. I mean, this town is called Plano. Okay. <laughs> that was the most exciting thing that's ever happened in that town, period. Let alone at any city council meeting. Anywhere in America. Have you ever been to a city council meeting? Until the crazy Republicans started showing up, they were the dullest things in the world, right? So, hey, a lot of important matters get adjudicated during that's the city true. council meeting. That is meeting. true. To be fair, but it's to be true. Fair. It is true. You should get involved in local B politics. Both are so true. Both are true. Yeah. Both are true. Well, I wrote this song for the Christian youth. I want to teach kids the Christian truth. If you want to reach those kids on the street, then you got to do a rap to a hip hop beat. So I gave my sermon an urban kick. My rhymes are fly, my beats are sick. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's because Jesus Christ is my. He's a life changer, miracle arranger, born to the virgin mom in a manger, water to wine, he's a drink exchanger, and he died for your sins. I preach the word, that's my gig, and I rhyme better than Notorious Big. All the other MCs, I wish them well, but if you live in sin, you burn in hell. <laughs> Why did he have to use the slur? I know. Why did he have to use well, the slur? Because I'd be on his you, side. I'd be on his side. You don't know. Side. You don't know what he was gonna say. It was just no, silence. I, you filled no, it in. He says it. He says it. It's oh, not censored. It's not censored in the original video. We censored it. Yeah, he says it. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't mm -hmm. be it wouldn't be right even if he hadn't said it, but he clearly was intending it to be no, that. No, um, I disagree. It would have been like that whole video. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I'd be jamming out to that, but it mm -hmm. There's something kind of lovable and endearing about him. And then out of nowhere, he drops the N word and you're like, oh, yeah. 